Hey, my name is Sally Amira, and I'm the nurse educator here at Diamedical USA. Today I'll be highlighting one of our most innovative products, the SimVS Hospital Complete with VentiSim. The SimVS system was founded by Greg Viss, and it's a tablet-based system that can transform any mannequin into a high-fidelity simulator for engaging, interactive learning experiences. The SimVS system includes a patient monitor, defibrillator, ventilator, and VITA monitor, as well as a nurse call system. Now we're going to show three different simulation scenarios with students and an instructor using the SimVS system. GregVS will be acting as the simulation tech to adjust the patient parameters in response to the student's interventions. Today we're going to be helping to take care of Mr. Sutter. So he was here with COVID pneumonia about a month ago, and now he's back in the hospital with a blood clot in his lung. So he's on BiPAP and oxygen to help him breathe. And when we go into the room, you'll see the vital signs monitor next to his bed and the ventilator. Do you have any questions? Yeah, what's his pulse ox been? It's been running in the 90s. Okay, great. Let's go see him. <gasps> Mr. Sutter, what's going on here? Why don't you go ahead and put the head of the bed up? First thing we want to do is sit the head of the bed up and that'll help him breathe easier. All right, we're going to get you squared away here, okay? We're going to get you sitting up. And we're going to get your BiPAP mask back on. And we'll help you start breathing in no time, okay? All right, now if you can help me put his mask on, that would be great. The straps go around the back of his head. And we need a nice tight seal in order for the BiPAP to work. Now that we've got his BiPAP back on, let's look at the monitor and see his numbers, make sure that they come up. So now you two are going to be caring for Mr. Berg. He had spinal surgery earlier today and he was admitted to the surgical floor just a few hours ago. So he's been complaining of severe pain ever since he woke up from anesthesia. About 15 minutes ago, he got two milligrams of Dilaudid IV push. He's never had surgery before, so you'll want to watch his respiratory status really closely. I'm going to have you go in by yourselves. I'm going to stand on the side of the SIM screen. So go be awesome. Hey, Mr. Berg. Hmm. He's not waking up. His pulse ox is only at 82%. He's only breathing four breaths a minute. We need to call Rabbit. What's going on? Oh, pulse ox is only 82. Respirations of four. Uh, you go ahead and breathe for him with the BVM and let's give him one milligram of Narcan. Okay. And you want to give nice, slow, steady breaths. And now we'll want you to see his vital signs come up. That's great. Let's go tell his nurse what happened. You've done a great job with our simulations. So our last patient is Mr. Morris. He was admitted with COVID pneumonia. So he was just intubated after BiPAP wasn't enough to keep his oxygen levels up. So his ventilator is set to 550 ml tidal volume, PEEP of eight, respiratory rate 18, and 70% FiO2. So chest x-ray just confirmed placement of the ET tube. So again, I'm gonna have you go in by yourselves and I'll stay on this side of the sunscreen. Go be great. Looks like the ventilator is alarming for low tidal volume and low inspiratory pressure. Hmm, there must be a leak in the circuit. We need to find where it is. I found it. There isn't any air in the cuff. I know what we can use. 10 mil syringe? Yes. That'll reinflate the cuff. We should call respiratory and let them know. Okay. Dad, 
Unified Medical's mission is simple, to improve the quality of healthcare by providing innovative tools like SIMVS to educate the next generation of medical professionals. This was Tuesday Teachings, helping to bring our products into your practice.